guys welcome back to our 16th tutorial in the CA series and in this video we're going to see how to further um, implement some of the security features um, on top of our, our bcrypt hash, hashing okay so um you notice last time uh, we saw how to um, grab these values from our, our from the user login uh, form and then um, check uh, the password field against what's stored in our database okay that's the hashed um, hashed uh, value of the login field for the user who's trying to log in and then how to set um, our session variables how to redirect our users and display a message if the login is, un is unsuccessful and um, several other things okay so um but today we want to advance uh in our security and and check uh, on stuff like um what happens when somebody tries to throw in um javascript code not necessarily limited to javascript but any any code that can hijack your your session variables okay your cookies um some of the costs that can just dump your database somewhere somebody can just decide to come and tap, type in some code in here that uh, and then fire and then when, when you fire in the login button you'll you'll get your system messed up okay um think of uh, a user somebody trying to uh, trying to add a uh, javascript code in here or any other code in this field and then when the user submits uh, the data it will kind of either um, dump your dump your d uh, database somewhere um, or just hijack your your sessions your cookies the rest of the things so um today we want to take a further look into how to implement other other security features like uh, the cross-site scripting that is xs xss yeah cross-site scripting so um if you come to uh, our HR, our HR file here, where we were, where we were uh, creating a new user, that is uh, the form here. Notice that we set a data var variable here, okay, and then we call in uh, a model that's going to add a new user, okay. So before you call in the model here we can just set pass in we can pass our data over the over the security function oh that's going to be messed up guys i really have to either tell this guy to stop calling come on it's a saturday get back to you Damn. okay where are we okay so we can uh, pass in the our data variable here that's the array of the variables we can pass it over our security class that's uh, data is equal to okay this security and then we are uh, we're going to call uh, the function that handles our our cross site scripting okay so um we're going to say this security and then x s s that is cross site scripting underscore clean um and then you're going to pass in our data here this uh, the variable up here okay so it's like we're passing that uh, data array of our security class that uh, that checks if this are cross-site scripting and then it eliminates it okay it regards it as a security threat okay so um 
data is equal to this security access clean data now that i've passed i've checked uh if there's some kind of cross-site scripting inside the data array that does in other terms um what's the user what the user is inputting in here okay hmm well and then the same same data is what i still pass in here so um there's nothing much at uh there's no big major change that i've done here apart from just passing my variable that's what's coming from the user over my security class that's the cross site scripting okay so um this is one simple way to um eliminate your cross site scripting and then we also have apart from xss we have cross site request forgery okay cross site request forgery that is c s r f so uh if you navigate to our to our views folder here uh, and then come to hr um and then the file that you're loading in here to create the user Oh, so user registration under the HR folder. Okay, um, here we did echo form open. Okay, form open. So what form open does? It appends. It appends a code that that um that will eliminate your cross site request forgery. Um, just to show you guys where we're loading that. If you come under config. Uh, dot php we have the uri choose it and then um, you have the encryption key here okay and then okay global xss filtering so um and then you have the cross site protection here you have the token so uh so crf protection is set to false but um we should set it to true so which means uh you can go ahead and update this to true okay so that you check on your cross site request forgeries okay cross site request for forgeries let me show you guys uh this from the user manual come to codeignator.com slash library slash security so we have the security um security class and right here we have the c csrf so um when you set it to true which means your application will be checking on the csrf uh that's the cross site request for forgery okay and if you don't if you don't set this one to uh to true which means that you will have to uh to call it within your forms that is uh, but if you set it to true and then you use uh the the code igniter that's the ci the ci form helper then you just good to go we'll have um checked your c s r f okay um but then again you, when you you're also working with your file with with files that like creating directories when you want to create a directory you'll have and then upload some file into it You'll notice that you're going to introduce another class okay i'm going to talk about um let me say sanitizing you can sanitize your you can sanitize your your file your file name okay that's what that's the idea of the of the of the field that you're su you're submitting to your controller okay you can sanitize it so you you, you pass uh you pass your 
file name over the sanitize file name security class okay that's our security so um if you guys can come under your security your ci security class and see how to implement uh, a few of this these features okay so um just to let you know how to work with this you don't need to keep on writing uh, lines of codes here you can as well do away with this data oh, we did this last time how to uh, how to be dynamic not just uh, writing things all over cluttering your space okay so you can come here and then delete this so this security class data so um, this HR model new user data uh, you can do instead of just calling your model that's going to insert this and you want to combine uh, to combine the two together that's this uh, this security section and and the model and then the function that, uh, that that's going to insert your database in, to insert your data into the database what you can do is just to um, do uh, do this line of code right in here okay so uh, let's do uh, let's do that right now what we're going to do is just to remove this one here and then bring it up here so um, we can comment this out or just delete it and then implement in, implement it right in here okay so we're going to say uh, if this HR model new user pass in your data which means it's like we're passing the uh, the data variable in here what we're, go what we're going to do here is just to uh, pass it up over our security class okay so this so this security x is, is clean that's called site scripting clean and then let's pass in the data okay so that um we can do away with this line of code i like combining things in line not just writing a thousand things all over and i want you to be like me okay i want you to be like me i'm not requesting so um that's one of the ways of implementing your security class the us coordinator security class so i want you guys to uh learn the several bits working with your files i mean sanitizing your file your file name so that somebody don't just traverse you into your directories you get what, what i'm saying somebody don't just traverse into your folders and mess you up so um I think this will mark the end of this lesson uh, so um, our next lesson um, we're going to start on building a simple application actually um, I'm thinking of it to be a standard for our next languages okay so um, as you start to build our application we're going to, we're going to talk about um, let me see we're going to talk about data tables that is we're going to introduce data tables we're going to introduce fancy boxes okay and uh we will definitely see how to draw ch charts using high charts okay how to dy dynamically pull your data from a database into charts okay and then turn them into charts so we we'll still have quite a lot to mention but uh just trying to figure out the kind of application that we can use a standard application that we can use across all the programming languages because uh, we yet to start we yet to start on c++ i think i'm going to do the, uh, to do something on c++ today i already promised a few buddies out here so i'm going to start working on c++ as i think on the application that will start on our 17th ca tutorial so um why don't i see you guys in the next tutorial as you guys try to absorb whatever you've done today that's uh 
passing our passing in the request from the user over our security class okay see you in the next lesson subscribe vote down or vote up on this video and let's meet in our next tutorial